show you The Headmistress of Rosemary. This is written by Sarah E. Ladd. This book follows the main character, Patience McCrichton. Patience is the headmistress of Rosemary, a school for girls. Her father was the headmaster, but he passed away six months ago. Her brother ran off to London. Her mother is in a deep, dark state of depression and she won't get out of bed, so this leaves pretty much everything on the shoulders of Patience. This is a very selfless character. She's very giving. She loves what she does. She loves her school, her, uh, her children, her, her students. Her family doesn't really encourage her. Her mother is always talking about Ralden, her brother, and just that he'll come back, he'll, he'll save the day, and giving him pretty much all of the credit and patience none. One night, a stranger shows up at the school needing assistance. He's sort of, he's bloody, he's beaten, and he, he needs help. So Patience helps him and treats his wounds, and then he goes off, you know, on his way. Um, I'm not sure if it comes out that night, but it does come out that the, the mysterious stranger is, in fact, the landlord for the school. He owns Rosemary, the property, and neighboring properties where he lives. His name is William Sterling, and he is a bit of a playboy, I would say. He has a not so good reputation. He's basically on the brink of financial ruin and Rosemary may suffer because of it. Patience and her family have served at this school for forever. She attended school at Rosemary and so this is just a really dear, near and dear to this family's heart, school and vision and mission. So the fact that they could lose this school, lose their livelihood, lose their homes that they've known for forever is very upsetting. That night when they had the encounter, uh, William was just struck by patience, by her kindness and her love, by her looks as well. I think there was an initial attraction and even though they don't, even though they don't really know each other very well, um, they just know of each other sort of, there was an initial attraction between them. William just can't seem to get patience out of his head. Meanwhile, her brother does eventually return with a few surprises of his own. One of those surprises being an ex, almost fiance of Patience. This of course causes more problems because Patience is torn between what she's supposed to do, what she needs to do, and what she wants to do. I enjoyed this book so much. It was so wonderful. Uh, the characters are just so memorable. The writing style is beautiful. Even though, I mean, the author just drops you into this wonderful setting and I felt like her descriptive narrative was so good. It was not so overbearing as, as happens sometimes in books like this. It was just the perfect blend of action and character interaction and descriptive narrative. To me, the plot in this book just flowed so well. There was enough things happening and enough questions in my mind that I just couldn't stop reading. It kept me wondering. To me, this book is about um, family and family values. It's also about love and romance. It's about, I think, to me, it's a lot about uh, choices and consequences also because William made a lot of choices that weren't good in the past and he now suffers through the consequences. Um, patience is uh, you know, almost she considers herself almost like a spinster because of, of decisions that she made in the past as well. All of these choices have consequences that are now affecting other people. The characters show us that we can move beyond our past mistakes into a very hopeful future. This book is the second in a series. I have not read the first one, but I do know that in this book, uh, there was a reference to the first book, so, but you can read this as a standalone. This is The Whispers on the Moors. Now that I've read this one, I have not read the first one, and I would love to go back and read it. If you are a fan of Jane Eyre, if you're a fan of Jane Austen, if you love novels like that, movies like that, then absolutely read The Headmistress of Rosemere.